In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to solve a system of linear equations with three variables and three equations using the substitution method. So you're probably familiar with the elimination method, but here we're going to talk about the substitution method, another way of solving these systems. So go ahead and take a screenshot of this if you want to attempt it on your own and go ahead and uh, see if you can solve it. But the first thing that you want to do when you're using the substitution method is you want to solve for one of the variables, either the x, the y, or the z. And it doesn't matter. You can solve for this x, this y, this z, or this x down here, or this z. But usually what I do is I try to solve for one of the variables that has a coefficient of 1. So like in this case, if I wanted to solve for this x right here, you know, I could... Uh, get it by itself on one side of the equation, and I wouldn't have to divide. Like Whereas here, if I solve for uh, x here, I'd have to divide by 3. I would have some fractions. It might be a little bit uh, more difficult. You'll still get the same answer in the end. But I think for this problem here, what I'll do is I'm going to use this middle equation. I'm going to solve for this x right here. And so if I do that, I get x equals positive y, negative 2z, and negative 4. So basically, remember, when you move... Uh, from one side of the equation to the other, the sign changes. So I just added y to get that to the other side, and I subtracted 2z to get that to the other side of the equation. So now we know what x equals. It's this y minus 2z minus 4. But what we're going to do now is we're going to put that in place of x. This is the substitution part. Okay, in place of x in the other two equations that we haven't used yet. So if I do that, the top equation would look like y minus 2z minus 4 plus y plus z equals 3. And the other equation, I'll put it over here, is going to be 3 times y minus 2z minus 4 plus y minus z equals 7. So what I'm going to do now that we've done those substitutions, I'm just going to simplify a little bit. So I've got y and y, that's 2y. I've got negative 2z and 1z, that's negative 1z. Uh, this negative 4, I'm going to add 4 to the other side of the equation to get this equal to 7. So I just kind of cleaned it up a little bit, if that makes sense. So that's one of our equations. And then the other one, I'm going to distribute that 3 into the parentheses, just kind of condense this down a little bit. Oops, that's going to be a negative 12. And then now let's clean it up a little bit further. We've got 3y and 1y, which is 4y. We've got negative 6z and negative 1z, which is negative 7z. And this negative 12 I'm going to add to the other side, which is going to give us equal to 19. So now at this point, you can see we've got two equations that have two variables. And we want to get this down to one equation with one variable. So what we're going to do is we're going to do that substitution method again. Okay, but this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for this z. So I'm going to get this z by itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add the z to the right and I'm going to subtract the 7 to the left. So that's going to be 2y minus 7. So that's what z is equal to. So if z, e, z equals 2y minus 7, we can put that in place of z in this other equation. So that's going to be 4y minus 7 times what z is, which is 2y minus 7, equals 19. And if I simplify a little bit here, negative 14y plus 49. Okay, and simplify a little bit further, we've got negative 10y, subtract the 49. And if I divide both sides by negative 10, we get y is equal to 3. So you can see what we did is we did the substitution uh, method twice, really. Once when we had the three variable, three equations, and then we solve for one of the variables again when we had the two variables, two equations. But now that we have y equals 3, we have to figure out what the other variables are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this y equals 3, put it in place of y here. So that'll give us 6 minus 7, which is negative 1. So we have z equals negative 1. And now that we know y and z, we can put those in over here to solve for x. So you can see this is going to be 3 minus uh, 2 times negative 1, which is going to be positive 2, minus 4, which comes out to 1. So we have x equals 1. And if we write our final answer as a triple, x, y, z, alphabetical order, this is going to be 1, 3, negative 1. And you solve that system of equations using the substitution method. 
If you want to see another example of how to solve using a substitution method, I'll put a video on the screen here that you can check out. And if you want to learn more about Algebra 2 concepts, I do have an Algebra 2 video course for sale that you can purchase. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video.